Today I want to share with you a story, a simple story and a true story about a teenager that never did anything big in her life. She wasn't a big movie actress or a leader of a company or an organization. She was just a teenager that believed in one word really strongly, and that word was compassion. She had a way of stepping out of her way for other people that nobody else cared about or thought was important. She believed that she was going to die at a young age. At the same time, she believed she was going to have an impact on millions of lives. She ironically was killed by two people who needed to be shown kindness and compassion in their life. She did die at a young age. She has had an impact on millions of lives. Today I want to share with you the true story, the story of my sister, Rachel Joy Scott. Rachel was the first student that was killed during the Columbine High School shooting. My sister wanted to be somebody to make a difference in other people's lives. She chose positive influences, the people she listened to, her mentors, her friends, the things she read, and uh, one of her big influences was influence. She used positive influences in your life. I don't know all the influences that you have in your life. I know that some I know that some of them you don't get to choose, you don't get to choose your family. But you do choose who you listen to, you do choose who you go to for advice, who your friends are, what you surround yourself with, what you watch and listen to through the media. All of that is an influence. And if, it, if those influences aren't helping you to be the person that you want to be, if they're not getting you to the next step, why do you have those influences in your life? What purpose do they serve? That's my first challenge to you. The shooters chose negative influences and it affected them negatively. So maybe you have some influences in your life today that in the end game that you, you don't want to have there. So that's my first challenge to you today is simply to choose positive influences. My sister dared to dream that she could make a difference. She believed if she treated people with kindness and compassion, it could start a chain reaction. If she was kind to someone, that person could feel good about, feel good about themselves, could feel that kindness and pass it on. And she believed, even though she was a teenager, that she could impact the world. My second challenge that I want to give to you today is to dare to dream for your life. Taking the lid off of your imagination and to dream big and to just imagine the power that you have as an individual, as one person, to impact people around you. Please close your eyes for just a moment. I want you to close your eyes because I want you to forget about everybody else around you. And just get alone and quiet with yourself. I want you right now to imagine all the people that you care about in your life. All the people that are important to you that if they weren't here tomorrow, you don't know what you would do. And I want you to imagine all of these people in your room. And they're all on one side of the room and you're on the other side. Just picture their faces, these people that you care about. I want you to imagine that you have one last time with them. And to ask yourself, how have I been treating these people? Have I been kind and compassionate? Have I listened? Have I been supportive and caring? Am I giving and serving to these people, loving on them, or am I always taking? last challenge to you today is a challenge of action, right? Survive and lose my friends and watch them die and lose my sister and be here for no reason. My last challenge to you today is for you to go to five of these people that you're thinking about. Tell them how much you care about them, how much you appreciate them, and how much you love them. If you're willing to accept that challenge today, would you just make a commitment to doing that and telling five people what they mean to you simply by raising your hand if you're willing to accept that challenge.
school really needs it, and so does every other school, because so far there's a lack of, you know, people caring about each other, and I think this is really helpful. The most is that literally everyone start crying. Like, I didn't see anyone cry that didn't cry. Everyone start crying, because everyone can feel his pain and could feel what was going on. Very life changing. Like I will it changed my life. It completely changed my whole outlook on how like I should judge. It impacted me more than I ever expected. Like I'm, my heart's still racing about it because I couldn't believe the impact it's had on everyone. I thought a lot about who they are as a person and how they've treated others and how others have treated them. And I think they'll I think it's change. awesome because, you know, the world, especially in high schools these days, is not good, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just people are all about themselves, and it's good to see, you know, sp spreading the message of compassion and, you know, love, basically. It's all about love. That's the way. Somebody to lean on. That's a spirit.